Hello and welcome back to GCK Daily, also known as the Global Crusade with Kumi. Through these videos, you will grow to know more and become more like Jesus. Dr. Kumi discovered his God-given purpose at an early age and has since shared biblical truths with millions around the world. So let's listen and be changed for the better. In Hebrews chapter 7, reading from verse 25, Hebrews 7, verse 25, Therefore, wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. As you come to Christ, that's the beginning. He wants to see God's plan for you, and he, by the right-hand side of the Father, will be interceding for you and praying for you. You will become who the Father has ordained. You will become in Jesus' name. He's the mediator. He is the Messiah. The Messiah, look at John chapter 1, verse 41. He first findeth his own brother, Simon, and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And then in verse 42, and he brought him to Jesus. Just like this gathering convocation is to bring you to Jesus, closer to Jesus closest to Jesus, and then you're so near, its impact will not be wasted in your life. And Jesus beheld him, and he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah, thou shalt be called, was now prophesying into his life. He was talking about the future now, your future, will not be like your past. Amen. Thou shalt be called Severus, which is, by interpretation, a stone. You will not be like a pebble. Like a pebble. Now, people can kick off from where you're standing, from where you are. You'll be a stone. You'll be solid. You'll be steadfast. And you will be successful. Amen in the sun. Yeah. It is done. Yeah. Peter did not understand what he followed. Peter cannot envision it, what he followed. Peter could not see the peak and the height, what he followed. And eventually, he became that stone. It took some few moments, but he became. I will become. And on the day of Pentecost, he preached, and 3,000 came to the Lord, I will become. And then uh, we're told he was at the gate, he said, Silver and gold have I known in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Peter did not see that before, but it came to pass. The height you cannot see, the peak you have not seen. And the glory that you have not seen. But you come to the Lord, you will soon see. Yes. Acts chapter 5, verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Verse 31. Him as God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, a king and a savior, the Lord and the savior, a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. William Henry Houghton was a person of purpose. He lived a surrendered life which paved the way for the salvation of many. His crowning achievement was when he became the fourth president of the Moody Bible Institute, the MBI. This happened in 1931. Will was a person of faith, and he attracted others to want to know Jesus. 
He was also a person of ideas and had a passion for creating educational learning opportunities. During his time as president, he used his interests in science and radio to expand these programs at the school. And as we look at our own lives, we may never know the impact that we can make in another person's life and generations to come when we live in our God-given purpose. Houghton's legacy lives on today at the Moody Bible Institute campus, where Houghton has been dedicated to his honor. When we live our lives to fulfill the Great Commission using our gifts and talent, God is glorified and people's lives are changed for the better. Hello friends, Bob Fitz here, worship leader and gospel artist. And you're watching GCK Daily Global Crusade with Kumuyi. What he has done for others as a priest, he'll become a prince in your life. The counselor in your life, the controller in your life. He will take your places in Jesus' name. A is advocate. That's another word for a lawyer that defends you in the highest court of the universe. Where you cannot have a lawyer, human, an advocate, human, to defend your person, to defend your past, to defend your property, and to defend your projects, and to defend the peak that is calling you to. You have Christ the Advocate. And he tells us in First John chapter 2, verse 1, My little children, these things I write unto you, that you sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. You know, there are people, they're Christians, they're born again, and when they become born again, they have joy, and they're almost flying in the air. They have springs under their feet, and they say, I never saw any joy like this before, and they're victorious. And then as they walk on and walk on, the joy subsides, and it appears a little bit depressed. They begin heart searching. What have I done? And then they look at this, they look at this, and it appears the accuser of the brethren comes to accuse them. And they get into the point of despondency, not realizing they have an advocate who will silence the accuser for them. The Lord wants to remind you today, we have an advocate or the Father, a lawyer or the Father. Whatever has happened by carelessness, by prayerlessness, whatever has happened because you have the wrong crowd with the wrong thoughts and you live in a way that suppresses so you shouldn't have done that, our advocate in heaven will defend you. He will forgive you. He'll put you on your feet again. You will stand in Jesus' name. I have an advocate with the Father. His name is Jesus Christ the righteous. You know, sometimes you want a family lawyer. They say, he has traveled. Can I reach him? He turned out his phone. He doesn't want to take any case or look at anything now. When is he going to come back? Well, we cannot even tell. Our advocate never travels away from the presence of the Father. Always with the Father. And whenever time you need to call morning, noon, night, your advocate will be defending you. I have an advocate. I have an advocate always for the Father. Praise the Lord. He never lost his case. He will not lose your case. So then what do you feel that you are called to do in this world? Do you have a passion for a certain group of people? Each of us is called to influence one of these areas for Christ. The family, the ministry, the business world, the government, education, communication, or the arts and entertainment sphere. We can use our God-given gifts 
to make God's name great in the earth. Ask God who He has made you to be. You will not regret asking for this help. It all begins with a relationship with Christ. Pastor Kumi comes to lead us to take that first step. Father, in the name of Jesus, what a loving God you are. What a wonderful God you are. You said we should look unto you all the ends of the earth. And then you say we shall be saved. We shall be forgiven. I pray for every brother, every sister, every young man, every young woman, and even the older people. I pray for everyone. According to your promise, grant them redemption for their souls now in Jesus' name. Forgive all their sins. Take away the guilt. Take away the condemnation and give them salvation and the joy of salvation now in Jesus' name. And I pray that the peace that comes with salvation will settle in every heart. And the assurance of salvation will be given to everyone now without exception. You said, whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise for no reason cast away. You receive everyone that comes. Everyone that calls on the name of the Lord Jesus is saved. Thank you Lord for their salvation. Thank you Lord for their redemption. Confirm it in every heart. In Jesus name we pray. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and Tell the same old lies If you're trying to feel The same old holes inside There's a better life There's a better life If you got pain He's a pain taker If you feel lost He's a way maker If you need freedom He's a chain breaker, oh yeah. God does indeed have a plan for your life. And the rain of laughter, love and joy will flood your life with God's goodness. Thanks for being part of GCK Daily. We post new videos right here on a regular basis to keep you strengthened in your faith. When you share and subscribe to our channel, it helps to spread the life-saving message across the globe. Please let us know how you've been impacted by our ministry in the comment section below. Keep in touch with us on all our social media platforms, and we look forward to connecting with you as you join us from across the globe at the next Global Crusade. Thank you. Thank you.